Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Sherry. Today is Tuesday, May 3rd. It's noon, and it's kind of nice. It's not cold. It's not hot. Oh, Kaylee's going to help. So I put her on a longer lead like a lot of you had suggested. Thank you. Still not comfortable with it, but she's still underfoot. <laughs> Bless her heart. So what we've done today is I started working right back out here, moving rock. I wouldn't feel like I'm going to be moving rock for days. You know, I uh, had gotten a contact information on someone that will bring in the top rock. I guess it's called Chuck. And I just um, am not right, quite ready to call them to do, have that delivered. I've um, got rock to move before I add more rock. So I don't have twice as much rock. I'm still going to have twice as much rock to move. But if I can just get this taken care of first, then I'll call and order this, you know, the third load of rock to come in. Because I am getting way overwhelmed over here. We got it good last night. I got woke up about 1 o'clock this morning and it was just coming down. Woke me up out of a dead sleep. Can you see what it's going on? So that's what's happening. I mean, it's gonna it's supposed to rain. I'm hoping it starts clearing out a little bit. It's going to be a days, days before this dries out. Yep. Let's see what Kaylee's doing over here. She's watching the road. She really likes that road, especially going down that way. She's like obsessed with it, I tell ya. So you could tell some of the rock that I've moved. Boy, I tell ya, walk a little bit more this way, and you know, I'm seeing all of these rats and all of these big old huge puddles of water, and I'm thinking, you know, if I had the capabilities, it sure would be nice to have a pond there, because we know that it'll hold water, you look at it, puddles everywhere, and I'm not going to go back there only because, um, yeah, Snakes, ticks. You know, one problem at a time. Boy, we just got Kaylee is tick free. Let's keep it that way. Yeah. Now you can see the other part of the driveway. So, I gonna bounce something off of you guys. This is what I would like to do. So you're seeing uh, this tree and this tree. See those two trees? Well, I am thinking that that bended tree right there would make an awesome archway. <laughs> I don't know about that one, though, guys. I mean, how, how does a short little old Mexican lady get up on there to get that taken care of? I don't know. It's just one of my grand ideas, you know. Well, everyone, like I say, not, I mean, there's, I don't want to say that there's nothing happening, but there really, I guess there is, and I mean, there's not much I could do outside. It's wet. It's actually perfect weather to work. It's just wet. Everything's muddy. It's muddy and wet. Kylie has her doctor's appointment tomorrow. She goes in for surgery, and I'm I'm just so nervous. So nervous. You know, I haven't even had her quite a week yet. and She's kind of wormed her way into my heart. See? I tell you, look, look, let's look what she's doing. See what she's doing? She just don't like that piece of wood there. She's going to eat it. She is just the cutest little thing. 
getting into trouble is what she's doing. Well, everyone, I try not to spend a whole lot of time out here looking at this stuff because I just get so overwhelmed. It's just so overwhelming. You know, just rock at a time. And, oh, I don't, I don't, guys, I don't know. Guess our, my number one priority right now is Kaylee. So I guess they're going to keep her all day. I'm kind of surprised that, you know, having her spate that they're going to release her tomorrow after, or tomorrow afternoon. Like they do the surgery in the morning and I pick her up in the afternoon. In Colorado, they keep them overnight. So I was very surprised when they told me I could pick her up tomorrow afternoon. That kind of makes me leery. So, you know, I'll just keep her in the camper and have her rest. I'm sure she's going to be sleeping off some anesthesia. Yeah. See, this is what we do, guys. She wants to come in. She wants to go out. Come in, go out. This is a 24-7 ordeal with this little girl. She doesn't know what she wants. She wants in. She wants out. Well, everyone, I am, um, I guess, going to move some rock. Let's get Kaylee. I'm going to put her back in. Spend some time with her inside the camper and see if I can't get her to settle down. And once she settles down, I'll come out here and move some more rock. And hopefully it won't be raining. Yeah, so that's what I did. I, I mean, I did do a little bit on, um, in the front. You can kind of see the, the wet part is, you know, the rocks that I've been working and trying to manipulate. I did come out here with a shovel and a rake this morning, hoping and thinking that, well, you know, it's so uh, wet outside, it would maybe be easier to manipulate this rock in the soil, and it's not. It's actually harder because it's wet. So now she's going to go over there and cry. This is what we do all day, guys. It's just all day. I don't know. I don't know it, what it is she wants. She wants to go walk. But we go walk and then she wants to come back. And I don't think she even quite knows what the little thing wants. So, we're going to let her just carry on and fuss, I guess. See? Now she's going to sit in the mud. She's still not playing, guys. You know, uh, I know it's just like a form of, I don't know, just, guys, I will be sitting down in the camper and she will climb on top of me and try to do dirty stuff. I'll tell you, I don't know if it's her way of, um, I don't know, showing the alpha, but I tell you, I better push her off real quick and I tell her no. And I stern voice and try and, yeah. She's trying to treat me like I like she's a male dog and she just I don't know. It's just not very pleasant, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm sure you guys get the meaning of what I'm trying to say without being too graphic. <sighs> guys, I'm gonna try not to spend too much time out here and stare at it because like once again I say I just get so overwhelmed and it's so frustrating and yeah. Well, tomorrow, I don't know if I'll do a video or not. I mean, I probably will. I mean, I have to have Kaylee up at the doctor, you know, between, I think they said between 7 and 9. If I drop her off first thing in the morning, it gives me more time without her to get some things done. I need to go into town, do some grocery shopping, and I really need to pick up some supplies to start building. There's not a whole lot I can carry in my little four-door sedan, but at least the back seat's full down, so... If anything, maybe I can get up to um, the tractor supply store and maybe get some fencing so I can see if we can't get her a pen. So when she is feeling better, she does have a dog runner, a dog pen to be in, and other dogs can't get to her. That's the plan. I don't know. 
Okay, everyone. Well, I am going to get off. I, you know, trying to do a video every day and I think I'm doing pretty good. I don't want to skip tomorrow, but I really don't because, you know, I'm kind of like getting in my groove. <laughs> you get the meaning? Get me in a groove. Okay, everyone. You know, try to stay dry. You know, stay safe. Stay beautiful. And let's see what we can get in till tomorrow while Kylie, Kaylee, is gone. I'm sure I'll be a nervous wreck, so I'm going to try to do as much as I can to, so I'm not thinking about her and worrying about her. And, you know, maybe I can run some fencing and I say, like, build a dog pen or a dog run for her. And I'll show you what I get done on that. Like I say, I don't even know what time tractor supply opens, but I'm sure it's going to be first thing in the morning. It's the opposite direction. So it's going like an hour that way and then an hour that way just to go to tractor supply. So... Everyone have a wonderful afternoon. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Stay beautiful.